I'm 31, I've never had a boyfriend. Let's take a look at my hinge because y'all asked. So first picture, I just have like a natural lighting selfie of me. The most important card we have as girlies is our face card. So I feel like it's always best to show this first. I'll show you guys pictures first, then prompts. Second photo, we have a full body photo. I always think the second photo should be a full body photo. We show them face card, then we show them full body. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne, coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Google right now. Can you do IVF without a man? Go ahead. And so your argument is we don't, you don't need a man at all. You do not. You do not need a man to have a baby. What year are you living in? What year are you living at in? At any stage. There's no sperm that's involved. No. You can have a baby without a man. You can and learn no to look sperm. That. You can educate yourself right now and look and that no up. Sperm. But you're refusing. And no sperm. You can literally look that up right now. You're more worried about laughing in your camera and recording me than doing a quick Google search to educate yourself. So, why don't you inform me? I How just did. I, no, no, no. Don't say Google You can it. take two eggs and IVF and make a baby. You can gladly Google that, but you don't want to. None of you have done it. <laughs> oh my God. See, <laughs> here's the reality. Modern women have lost their God darn minds. They really have. It's completely over. If you think that you're going to get a sane woman in 2024 in the West who's not lived out, who ain't got been ran through, who who ain't got hella tattoos, who ain't wearing a choker, who ain't, you know, <laughs> got crazy ass piercings, bro, it's O V. It's over. It's over. Unless you go out some, you know, in Utah or something or in the Midwest. That's the only way you're going to get a decently regular woman. And even once she get a sniff of that Instagram, it's over. It's over. Don't let her be kind of cute, too. It's over. Okay? It's done. It's finished with. It, I mean, end of discussion. There's nothing to talk about. It's a wrap. So this woman actually is clinically insane because she believes that you don't need sperm to do IVF. Right? And, and, and a lot of women have been saying this and touting this. And this is part of... The LGBT agenda is part of the trans agenda. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, well, men can have babies and, and women can have babies without men. And it's all this this confusion and, and deception when in reality, you still have to have a man to have a child. I don't know why I would have to even be saying this right now. Yes, in 2024. But the reality is, yes, you do need a man or you need a component of the man. You need the man's DNA. And that comes from his sperm, his ejaculation. And we know that this woman has a thousand cock stairs. So she is not unfamiliar of the amount of sperm it needs to get pregnant. I wouldn't be surprised if she's gotten plenty abortions as well. But this is how these modern women are coming nowadays. Lived out, batshit crazy sucking dick fucking doing everything under the sun and I mean, there's no options out here i mean there really isn't so it's funny when i continue to hear women complaining about the dating market oh there's piss in the dating market there's piss in the, in the dating pool i mean it's just ridiculous because y'all are not coming complete y'all are not coming sane Y'all are coming off of drugs and alcohol and you want somebody to come in, swoop, your, swoop in and pay for your bills and save you. And that's just not how it is going to work out here. OK, we ain't doing that no more. The men are fed up. We're tired of it. We're not trying to play your little games anymore. The, the men are going overseas. Passport bros. The men are becoming MGTO dub. The men are becoming SYSBM. The men are doing anything in their power to avoid 
women like this and <laughs> I think it's actually driving a lot of women crazy. You see she's sipping a beer right now. So these women obviously have problems. I'm 31, I've never had a boyfriend. Let's take a look at my hinge because y'all asked. So first picture, I just have like a natural lighting selfie of me. The most important card we have as girlies is our face card. So I feel like it's always best to show this first. I'll show you guys pictures first, then prompts. Second photo, we have a full body photo. I always think the second photo should be a full body photo. We show them face card, then we show them full body. Next photo, I did this one. I just thought it was like fun, cute for my birthday. And shockingly, this is like the photo that I feel like guys like the most. Okay, fourth, I'm bringing you back to another full body Jesus. photo. I feel like this one says like, reminder, like I'm not skinny. Next, we have another kind of like selfie photo, cowgirl hat, I don't mm. know, I live in Nashville. Last, we have another full body Lord, photo. Have mercy. And I just try to put in as many as I can. Hope they get the idea like I'm not skinny. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the prompts. And I really think prompts on dating apps should give like a little sneak peek into your personality. Saying hi in as many languages as I know. Hi. It's very sarcastic and definitely my sense of humor. So if you think that's funny, then perfect. <laughs> Next is what if I told you I'm a great bandwagon fan for your favorite sports team. And I love like doing everything for sports, drinking for them, tailgating them, watching them, having all the snacks. I'm really down to root for whoever as long as we're having a good time. Next we have, I bet you can't ask me on a date. This one is a hit. I actually get a lot of responses to this. So I recommend like throwing this one on your profile too. I do date very intentionally so i'd be lying if i said i went on a date when they respond to this prompt mm, um of course not that's also a story for a different day <clears throat> last prompt if loving this is wrong i don't want to be right dogs yeah so that's like once again very sarcastic very me because who doesn't love dogs and if you don't love dogs then like don't talk to me so yeah that is the full breakdown of my hinge that's what i'm using to try to get a man I also pay for the hinge premium which is like 14 dollars a week um it's not going well none of it's going well but we're trying, okay? All right, love you guys. Bye. Wow. Um, that is absolutely insane, okay? You have a woman who seemingly, on initial outlook, you're, you're thinking, okay, I mean, I don't know why she hasn't had a boyfriend. Then she shows picture two. And as you can see, Shorty is blowed up like a blimp. She about 220 pounds easy. She 5'3", it said in her hinge profile bio. So she's 5'3", that fat. Baby, you need to lose 100 and uh, I'd, say, I'd say she probably need to lose 100 pounds, honestly, straight up. She need to lose 100 pounds because she has potential. Like she mentioned earlier, she was talking about the face card. It's not like she's ugly, but fat makes you ugly. Boom. This is what you have to understand. A lot of women like, oh, well, you know. Lizzo's pretty. No, Lizzo's not pretty. She don't got a pretty face because her face is fat. And you can't be pretty with a fat face. You just can't, bro. I mean, it, it, it's just the reality. So, <laughs> a lot of these women are overestimating herself. She's paying for Hinge. And notice how she said, oh, well, I'm 30 years old and I ain't never had a boyfriend. Yeah, we know why. Because you're just getting pumped and dumped. You're getting fuck chucked, okay? It's... It, it, <laughs> It's the, the sexual verb for up chuck, okay? She's getting fuck chuck, right? She's, she's fucking and getting chucked, right? Because nobody is trying to commit to a woman who's 200 pounds, especially if they're looking for long term. You're going to have to have my kids. You're 225, 230 pounds right now, looking like a nose guard in the National Football League, about to down, said hut my ass like hell no okay so you're 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 220 pounds and i want a long-term relationship with children in the future you know you're at minimum healthy weight for a woman to gain during pregnancy is 25 pounds so you're at minimum you're going to gain 25 pounds during the pregnancy so now i mean i'm i'm giving her the benefit of the doubt saying she's 225 i really could see her at 240 um and that's atrocious that's that's disgusting that's when you when you you know when you t when you take her top off and and her whole stomach is just pink with with stretch mark lines and all types of weird shit uh that's the type of she the type of bitch who don't want to fuck with, with her shirt off <laughs> hey the bitch won't take her shirt off the fuck that's when you know she fat because <laughs> in any other any other way you know a bad bitch ain't waiting to take her shit off she want to be naked she want to be on Instagram showing booty and, and all that kind of stuff. 
when you got a woman who looks like this, her whole stomach, it has stretch marks with a whole bunch of pink lining and shit like that. She's big as hell. Uh, the, the pussy is prickly, okay? She can't really shave it that well. So it's prickly pussy. It's not freshly shaved. It can never be freshly shaved. It's prickly pussy. You hit it from the back. That shit look like a damn square. It looks like you, you know, playing Roblox or something like that. It's not good. It is not good. And, and everybody knows, you know, niggas done took down some fat bitches before. And everybody understands that fat bitches are recreational use only. And I do not necessarily recommend you guys smashing a fat bitch. But if you are one of these incel dudes or a virgin dude or whatever, and you're trying to break something in and just get your confidence up, a fat girl is the perfect girl to deal with. And, and for two... She said, oh, well, you know, I got people asking me out on dates from this prompt. You know, I'm not trying to feed all that. Honestly, I'm not trying to feed you when you're that big. You're eating a meal bigger than me. And then you that big and you got cake in your profile picture. <laughs> I would have said, look, girl, you need to put down the cake. Let's get in the gym. Let's work. I'm not saying that she's moldable. There there probably could be some skinny personal trainer who takes her on as a pet project. You get her while she's fat, work her ass out, and then she, you know, if you look good enough or if she don't get any more, you know, better options, which if you're getting with a fat girl, you probably don't have any better options. But let's just say it's a high value Chad who likes her for her personality and she has the face card that, you know, he's willing to accept. And he gets with her. And he works her out. That's the type of chick who will stay with you for the long run. If, um, you know, the guy who actually got, got with her was high value. And this this is the type of guy who's 100% by the book. He's basing everything off of the morals and the personality. And then it just so happened that she was a pet project to potentially turn attractive. It's not like she's ugly. She's just fat, which makes her ugly. Like this second picture right here. This is who she really is on the bottom. It just looks sloppy. It just looks sloppy. And the legs, holy shit, your legs are... How you wearing cowboy boots and there ain't no room in the goddamn boot? That's a problem. There's no room in the boot when it, when it, when it lifts up? That is an issue. There's no room. There's no room on your calves. Her, she got, I mean, your, your calf muscles... Your calves look like thighs. Baby, you need to lose weight. And I'm not even trying to go crazy on her, but I'm going crazy. I'm going stupid. Go crazy. Because <laughs> she needs somebody to tell her, look, honey, the reason why you haven't been in a relationship because you fat as hell. You need to, and, and it, honestly, if she lost 100 pounds, she would look five to 10 years younger. I'm, I'm, I'm telling the truth now. But a lot of people are going to say, I'm, I'm bashing, I'm punching down. But no, I'm actually trying to give some some advice that can work and i am a personal trainer so when i see a fat bitch with potential i always can envision myself molding her to the bitch that she's supposed to be but in this case it, it just looks like she cannot put the cake down and these are the types of chicks who are co-opting the word thick and i take issue with that i seriously take issue with that but you know we we all know that she's most likely recreational use dudes are just smashing her you know i i could see some 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 guys that she probably deems as attractive smashing her and whatnot and then also she's getting a lot of inquiries and then the guys that she doesn't like she's using them for foodie dates she obviously using them for foodie dates or for you know um uh, uber eats type stuff doordash all that kind of stuff i mean <clears throat> she's very much delusional if nobody has just really got in her ear and said, yeah, baby, I, I know why you're having dating struggles. Because blonde hair, hazel eyes, it's not hard to get in a relationship if you're in shape. But obviously, um, she is not in shape. And that's why she's having trouble. And all, all she needs is a good kick in the rear end and somebody to tell her, hey, get your lazy ass up and get to the gym. But no man has cared enough. Or just, you know, maybe she's just not taking the advice. Maybe she's just hard-headed. Maybe she don't want to change. And that is how a lot of modern women are. They're lazy. They're not trying to hit the gym. So when you do have a woman who goes to the gym, uh, you know, and is dedicated to her fitness, 
you know, that's definitely something that you, you should hold on to. But you already know what it is. It's your word we claim it. Don't make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See your relationship request to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So, new paying your man. Y'all need to be on your mark for getting with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.